yeah, they just come rock, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, Fib, everybody wants to know, is there a possibility of, of, of you, you know, actually your son, your son wants to sit down with you? No, he doesn't. See, Charlamagne, you would call me. You don't call TMZ to say you want to sit down. Mm. Think about it, man. Mm. You know, you want some attention. You know? And it's okay, you can have as much that as you want. You know, it's just like you, he, he, he's been trained to believe what you see him say in, the, in that interview, that what he was saying, he's been trained to believe that for a long time, bro. Like, you, you don't just wake up and say, oh, well, I don't believe what I've been believing forever. You know what I mean? Like when I said that uh, that he's entitled, really it's his mom's entitlement. It's been filtered. See, when I told you I was giving out half a million dollars a year, they go through the paperwork to see half a million dollars a year. Well, at that point, she still was expecting more. This is why I took her to child support. You don't usually sign up for child support. Like mm -hmm. I took myself to child support. Because she wasn't understanding it, that oh, I'm already giving you more than you're supposed to get. Then when it turns into the 6,700, that's not enough, and it's never going to be enough. Mm -hmm. But remember me constantly coming to you and talking to you about she don't want to wish she need to get a job. She didn't hear me. Yeah, you used to always say uh, it's, he's almost 18. The child support's going to be up. Going to be up soon, and you, you don't see it because that's not real to them. They just live. In the moment, like, and it's it's fine. I'll take care of it on the next thing when it comes. The next the next check coming in every month. Like, I I don't feel the pressure that or resentment that men feel with, with child support because I take care of it when the problem time. Mm -hmm. Meaning, I, I took the money and moved it to a, a account that year. So on the books, that was an expense for that year. And then the next year, I didn't feel that financially anymore. And it was like they was receiving it every month, but I had already put that money to so I already took the loss on that year. So later, if you're not if you're not having years that bring in the same kind of money, it may affect you more later. I mean, if your career slows down, if you're not, you know, like I just didn't want that to be an issue at any point, so I just took care of it. Like the side is the situation when I have uh, good communications. With like, and for him, it's his aunt, really. His aunts and make it easier for me because I don't really like with moms like that. So, but we have been able to share and, and raise him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no real fighting there. It's like that. And you go on. outside of you, uh, you would think puff that puppy situation, you would, there's nothing else there. Ain't yeah. no problem. Yeah. You know, most young, most young men grow up and they realize that, you know, they, they was only getting one side of the story, usually from the mother. So then yeah. that's, that's when they want to, you know, go go talk to the pops and they're like, damn, have that relationship. Kind of, It kind of happened in, in um, Raising Canaan. Yeah, you know, Raising Canaan was, was like... Was